Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I talked about TFIDF vectorizer and before that I talked about count vectorizer that extracts the features from text. And I said I will work on a sentiment analysis in next video. But before that, we definitely should go through some text pre-processing techniques. In today's video, I decided to make a tutorial on some commonly used text pre-processing techniques. First, I imported pandas and created this data frame using this twitter.csv dataset. I have the link to the dataset in the description box below. Please feel free to download the dataset and practice with it. Here is the data frame. You can see I have this column named tweets. Each row is a tweet. So we are going to see how we can pre-process this data, clean up this data, and prepare it for machine learning models. So first here I import a string and you see in these tweets I have this add, then hash, this uh, colon and all these other punctuations. And first thing what I want to do is remove these noises and keep only the text. So here is the function remove punctuation where I pass text. This is an empty string dot join. I for i in text, if i not in string dot punctuation, you see what string dot punctuation actually is. It includes all these noises, all these extra punctuation symbols. I am filtering out all these symbols and keeping the text only. Okay, and now I use this definition, this remove punctuation function on this tweet column. And then I create this new column called tweet clean. So df tweet dot apply lambda x dot remove punctuation. I hope you all know how to use lambda. If you don't, I have the link in the description box below. I have a complete different tutorial on that. And this tutorial is not the scope for that. So you see the tweet, original tweet, where we have all these punctuations and tweet clean. It's pretty clean. There is no punctuations, no add, no hash, and no columns. Next one, I will tokenize. This is another function that takes the text and it splits. It splits the text into words. And here I apply it on tweet clean, on this clean tweet data. So df tweet clean dot apply lambda x dot tokenize this tokenize function. And you see what happens. It simply splits these clean tweets and make a list of the words. Let's see what we can do with these separated words. There is another commonly used text preprocessing is stemming. So here first we have to import it from nltk.stem.porter import porter stemmer. Then you initialize this stemmer. This is another function called stem. It takes text. This text is actually the list of words. So what it returns, stemmer.stem word for word in text. It will take each word from the list of text and stem it. And what stem actually is, it brings the word to its original base form. Like take the word love. So love can be love, loves, loved, loving, all of this, right? So stemming will bring any of these things, love, loud, loves, loving, whatever that is, it will bring everything to the base word love. So now let's take this stem and apply it to the tweet tokenized and see what happens. The tweet stemmed. You see this thanks. Thanks become thank. The S is gone. This majesty becomes majesty. This Y becomes I. Then you see motivation becomes motif. Sometimes it can be a little bit of problematic. When motivation becomes motif, dysfunctional becomes dysfunct. This is actually, sometimes we don't want this. Thanks become thank. That's great. But motivation becomes motif is not probably what we want, right? Sometimes it is really not that meaningful. So we want to change the word to its base form, but we want to keep the word meaningful. And 
That's what lemmatization does. Stemming is also very commonly used text pre-processing, but I feel like lots of time lemmatization does a little better job. Let's see how it does. So import an LTK and then I have to import WordNet lemmatizer. And for this, you need to download these two things. If you don't, then it's going to throw an error. So first I initialize WordNet lemmatizer and then this uh, lemmatization function. And as you can see, WNL, this variable dot limitize w, w is the word, and for W in text. And I see pause equals to V, that means it's going to change the verbs. So we are going to limitize only the verbs. So here the tweet limitized, and then we take the tweet tokenized again and apply this limitization function on that and see what happens. This time, this dysfunctional stays as dysfunctional, right? You see, when we stand it, it becomes dysfunct, which is not as meaningful, right? The dysfunctional is much more meaningful. We do not need to change dysfunctional. Same as motivation. When motivation becomes motive, is not as meaningful anymore. So motivation should stay as motivation as well. Let's see if we take the first 10, we'll find more stuff like that. Like camping, camping becomes camp in the monetization, which is great. Talking becomes talk, but motivation, dysfunctional, then majesty, those words stay as it is. So you can use limitization and stemming both in your project and see which works better for your project. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. In next video, we will work on an NLP project. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.